How does my hair look? Good? Yeah. Should we fluff up? It looks fair. I called my recruiter on around September 13, 2001, uh, when, if you all can remember, the uh, president stood on the rubble with the bullhorn and said we were going to get the evildoers that did this. And, oh, man, hold on a second. I'm starting to... Oh. Thank you. All right, let's hope that's a little better. But uh, I and he led the rah rah around the country and got everybody really excited, and I was excited, and I uh, wanted to go to Afghanistan and get the people that did this to us. But uh, after I joined the army, it became clear and clear to me that we weren't going to go to Afghanistan, that we were going to go to Iraq, and uh, more and more began to feel with uh, statements like George Bush saying that he uh, sought the approval of a higher father than his own and, and things like that. It really concerned me that uh, President Bush was trying to use uh, Jesus Christ uh, as an advocate for the war. But I always remembered, uh, at least from the Bible that I read, Jesus Christ was always about peaceful things and, and love and and what whatsoever you do unto the least of my brother you do unto me and uh it just shocks me that a man who tries to live his life by such uh devout christian philosophies seems to skew so much on this one issue ronnie saved me a hundred and fifty thousand dollars ronnie saved us over five hundred thousand dollars saved me a quarter of a million dollars and yes you can call me right now there's a term, uh, once a Marine, always a Marine, but there's also the term, eat the apple, F the core. I don't work for you no more. It's so easy. Just take liposine. That's it. On April 18th, 2006, I had my first confirmed kill. Uh, this man was innocent. I don't know his name. I called him the fat man. Um, he was walking back to his house and I shot him in front of his friend and his father. The first round didn't kill him after I had hit him up here in his neck area. And afterwards he started screaming and looked right into my eyes. So I looked at my friend who, was, who I was on post with and I said, well, I can't let that happen. So I took another shot and took him out. He was then carried away by the rest of his family. It took seven people to carry his body away. Iraq has trained al-Qaeda members in bomb making. Saddam Hussein's regime trained al-Qaeda operatives in bomb making. Saddam is now training al-Qaeda in bomb making. We know that Iraq and al-Qaeda have had high level contacts that go back a decade senior level contacts between Iraq and Al-Qaeda going back a decade. The Iraqi regime has been in contact with Al-Qaeda for at least a decade. Saddam Hussein is harboring terrorists. Harbors these terrorists aid, comfort, and sanctuary to terrorists. We know that Iraq and the Al-Qaeda terrorist ne network share a common enemy, the United States of America. This is carbamazepine. It is a nerve pain medication. Ms. Collins, aye. This is a drug called Coumadin, and it's a blood thinner. Mr. Craig, aye. This is Tizanidine. It's an antispasm medication. Mr. Crapo, aye. This is Gabapentin. Mr. Dashel. It's a uh, nerve pain medication. Aye. This is Bupropion. Mr. DeWine. It's an antidepressant. Aye. This is Omeprazole. Mr. Da. It's for morning nausea. Aye. And this is morphine. It's a narcotic. And uh, in this situation, the effect is not to get high, but to kill pain. And so I have to take more and more of it to stop the pain. Nope, no weapons over there. Maybe under here. I said to, to him the other day, George, if you really want to end tyranny in the world, you're going to have to stay up later. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I am a desperate housewife. <laughs> I'm Patrick Duffy, host of Bingo America, using your high-speed internet service. Go to gsm.com slash... One night I was told to uh, give a message down to the detainee site. I knocked on the door, and when they opened it, I witnessed one detainee, detainee being kicked around on the ground in the mud, rolled over again and again, just... The, the agent was just kicking him with his foot, just rolling him over in the mud, pouring water on his face. You know, the, the whole waterboarding thing. And uh, another detainee was standing there with a bag over his head and uh, was forced to carry a huge rock until he just physically couldn't do it anymore and just collapsed. That image seared itself into my mind's eye. And I can't forget it. I won't forget it. I'm sorry. As I wrap this up, I just want to say two things. The longer we live as a human race, we're supposed to be getting smarter and wiser and better. And to the vets that we're trying to bring home alive, Decades from now, when you got your grandchild sitting on your knee, bouncing in front of you, just try to remember what we did here today under the flag, IVAW. Thank you. See, because the Baba says the one that comes out the womb, that's the one that opens up and blessed. And the devil is scared of the one that came out. Because the one that comes out is the one that opens up the way for the rest. And the attack is always on the first. Because if he can mess up the first, he'll mess up the rest. But today we come to destroy every power. The decision to remove Saddam Hussein was the right decision early in my presidency. It is the right decision at this point in my presidency, and it will forever be the right decision. I thank the gentleman. I rise in opposition of this bill, but I would like to clarify something. We're not trying to scare kids. This president's foreign policy is what's scaring the kids of this country. And that people have said today, why are people believing this? Why are people believing this big internet hoax? Well, it's the same people that told us Saddam Hussein had something to do with 9-11. Same people that told us Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. Same people that told us we were going to be able to use the oil for reconstruction money. Same people that told us that we'd be greeted as liberators, not occupiers. Same people, same president that told us the Taliban is gone. Same president that told us that Poland is our ally two days before they pull out. Same president that tells us Iraq is going just great. Same president that tells us the economy is going just great. Same people that told us the tax cut was going to create millions of jobs. Same people that told us that the Medicare program only cost $400 billion when it really cost $540 billion. So please forgive us for not believing what you're saying. Please forgive the students of this country for not believing what you're saying. Not one thing. Not one thing about this war that has been told to the American people or that has been told to these college students has been true. Not one thing. Bremer says we need more troops. The Pentagon says we need more troops. And this president can't get them from the international community. There's only one option left. Let's be honest with the American people. I yield back the balance of my time. Okay. I think I'm ready. Being careful 
means knowing I'm doing all I can to reduce my risk of passing it on to her. That's why I take Valtrex.